Today we released the ability to generate designs and PDFs in Mind Studio, and I want to show you just how easy it is to do it. So I have an empty project here, and I'm going to click on Generate Workflow, and I'm going to paste in this description that I wrote, because what I want this workflow to do is every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, scrape techmeme.com, which is a tech news aggregator site. And if there's news about AI, generate a five-page PDF for a LinkedIn post, where each page is a news story with a quote, insight, headline, and the source publication. Something interesting from the news story. Each page should be square, make sure it's engaging and captivating, use dark background colors, and email me the generated PDF. And I'm going to say this runs on an automatic schedule, and I'm going to press generate and let it do its thing. Now that it's finished, we can take a look at the plan it proposed and see that the steps look right. It's going to run at 9 a.m. It's going to scrape tech meme, analyze the news, format uh, its analysis, generate a PDF, and send it to me via email. We can see the variables that it's decided to use for this, uh, as well as the automations that are involved and the spec for the PDF that it's going to generate. So this all looks good. I'm going to press accept and build. Now that it's finished, let's take a look at what it made. So we've got a system prompt and we've got some automations in here. So it starts and it set up the scheduled job correctly. It scrapes tech meme and saves it to a variable called raw content. It analyzes the raw content and returns the result as JSON. It checks the results for errors, for empty results, and if everything is good, it proceeds with generating the PDF. Uh, this we'll take a look at in a second. And then it sends the report via email. So now we can go ahead and run it and watch it work in the debugger. So it's scraping tech meme and it's getting back this result. It's analyzing it. It's running it through the logic block to do some error handling and validation. And finally we get the PDF and it's sent it via email. And if we click on the preview here in the debugger, we can see the outputted PDF that it gave us. And this looks pretty good to me. Um, if we go back in here and click on the Generate PDF Report block and expand this out to full screen, you can see the full preview and development environment for the HTML that forms the template that then gets exported as either a PDF or as an image. Uh, and it, it generated all of this. It also generated all of this test data. We can modify it if we want. If we have a request to you know, make it instead of purple, we want it to be orange, we could do that. Uh, otherwise, that's all it takes to build something that every morning at 9 a.m. is going to scrape this tech news aggregator, analyze the content, validate the results, generate the PDF of these stories, and then email them to you um, so that you can do whatever you want with them. And this is just the beginning of, like, this is a very trivial example of the kind of content you can generate with these templates. Uh, any sort of, you know, structured document or report where, you know, the layout is mostly the same and you're filling in placeholders, this is now able to do that very reliably and efficiently. And this opens up a really cool new set of use cases for Mind Studio. Everything from, you know, Canva style social media posts to financial reports and business documents and presentations and news articles and all kinds of cool stuff. So feel free to play around with it and excited to see what you all make.